the daf mim ches. Throughout our parak, when we're discussing different ages, the Mishnah refers to the age as, for instance, shaloi shanim v'yoyim echad. It's three full years. Me'es la'es, 365 days times three. Yet when the Torah discusses, when the Mishnah discusses a saris and an islandess, it doesn't mention yoyim echad. Machlik tanoim, whether it means that you still need 20 full years, or perhaps 19 years and 30 days is enough. The Gemara brings a b'raisa, where there are five different topics that also need me'es la'es. The first one is a carbon. When the Torah says, for instance, you should bring, bring a keves ben shenasai, it's referring to the year-old keves. The keves itself, the sheep needs to be 365 days, and we don't base it on a calendar year. Because the Torah says, keves ben shenasai, it's year. When we talk about batay or chayma, you sell a house within a walled city, you could only redeem it in the first year. How do we know that it's based on a year from the sale and not a calendar year? Because it says, shenas men karoi, your sale. You sell an ancestral field, you cannot redeem it for the first two years, because it says in the Torah, and the Gemara directions that means that there are three tvois. Sometimes you could reap the field three times. That's only possible if we do me'es la'es. As you see in the chart, for instance, if you sold your field in Nisan, two years later on Nisan, you will be able to have your third reaping. But if it's based on calendar years, you'll only be able to reap the field twice. Evid Ivri, a Jewish slave, could only be sold for six years. It's Islays, the Torah says, Uva Shviyas, and we darshan that he works even into the seventh year. That's only possible if we go in Islays. And finally, the Brisa mentions Beven or Bevas. Now you could say it's talking about our Mishnah, Saras and Islands, or you could say that it's talking about Erechen. When the Torah says that a child from five years on, it's referring to Islays. The child has five full years. We're not discussing a child who's four years old. Now, Rav says it's talking about Erechin. Rav Yosef says it's talking about our parak of Yitzhidoyven, Asaris, and Islands. Yet, there's no machleks between the two. The reason why Rav says it's talking about Erechin because that was in the Torah, just like Eved and Zehuza and Batir Choyim, etc. Where Rav Zeira, where Rav Yosef says it's talking about our parak because it's the same Lashem, Ben Ubevas, like it's mentioned in our Mishnah. The halacha is, though, that when it comes to Asaris and Islanders, you don't need a full 20 years. They're considered Asaris and Islanders when they're 19 years old and 30 days. And Rebbe Lazar said that's the halacha, and that's how Rebbe Lazar passed. And Rebbe Zeyra was very curious to hear this directly from Rebbe Lazar's mouth. And in fact, when he met him, he said, please tell me that you said that the halacha is like that. And Rebbe Lazar told him, in fact, I don't have this from tradition. I came up with this on my own logic. And with that, we finish the Perik Yaitza Daifan, and we start, begin, Perik Basim. The Mishnah tells us that the main simonim in a woman are the lower simonim, not the upper simonim. The upper simonim are there just to, to tell us that if they have upper simonim according to Chachamim, that means that there are lower simonim. So therefore, if a woman has lower simonim, midaraisa, she is a gdayla and she can do chalitza and perform yibum, and do yibum. If there are only upper simonim according to Rabbi Meir, it's nothing, and she doesn't do chalitza and doesn't do yibum. According to Rachamim, since it's impossible to have upper simonim without lower simonim, therefore she does perform chalitza and yibum. And if you do a bdika, you can see that there's no lower simonim, that's because they fell off. The Gemara brings two psukim that seem to be a right of mayor. There are similar psukim. The, the first pasuk is, Shodayin Nechanu Usa'arech Tzimeach. In other words, you see that the upper simonim come before the lower simonim, and the same thing with the second pasuk. So the Gemara in both Psukim, that it means that if there are upper simanim, there are certainly lower simanim. Why is it that the lower simanim is what makes a difference and we don't consider the upper simanim at all? And the answer is because there's a hekesh between the Ishvi Isha, and just like a man only has one simon, and only one simon, and it's the lower simon only, so to a woman, we only count the lower simon and we don't consider the upper simon at all. So the third sheet of Shem Gamliel says, that girls that live in the cities who are used to bathing with hot water, that creates that the lower simonim will come out first. And the, the girls that are in the countryside, they, they do a lot of hard labor, they use the mill, and therefore the upper simonim develop first. Shimon Lazar says that wealthier women, since they wear a shawl on the right side, 
So that causes friction on the right side, and the right side develops first, and poor women, the left side develops first because they draw water on the left side, and some say because they carry their brothers on the left side. The Gemara brings that usually the left side develops first, and Rav Hanina, the brother of Rav Yeshua, said, that's not true. In fact, there was only one woman in our city that that happened to, and eventually everything evened up. The Gemara says that although Simonim can bring two Yibum Chalisa, different races, women are believed to say that they checked. The Gemara says that this is like the mother of Rebbe Yezer, the wife of Rebbe Yezer, the mother of Rebbe Yishmol. In other words, women that have Yerushamayim. But this is Machlaikas. Before the Perek, in other words, Oynas Nedarim is a year before Bas Mitzvah. So Bas Mitzvah is at 12, from 11 to 12 is Oynas Nedarim. Before that age, in other words, age 10, according to everybody, according to Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon, there's no Machlaikas. A woman is believed to say that she checked. Why would she check? Just in case she finds Simonim, those exact Simonim, if they last all the way to 12, are no good. We consider them just a mole. And they're not simonim. After Bas Mitzvah, this is Machlaik. According to Rabbi Yehuda, a woman is believed. Why? Because the combina- there is a chazaka of Rava that every woman has simonim when she reaches 12. Therefore, together with the edos, the nemonas of another woman, she's believed. Rabbi Shimon says, since Rabbi Shimon doesn't hold of the chazaka of Rava, therefore, after Bas Mitzvah, a woman is not believed to say that a girl has simonim. Now, the, another Machlaikis says, within that year, Toicha Perik, from 11 to 12. So Rabbi Yehuda says that if you find Simonim in that age, 11, they're considered complete Simonim. Therefore, a woman is not believed because you don't have the Chazak of Rava during that year. You know, the Chazak only starts from 12 on. According to Rabbi Shimon, since those Simonim don't mean anything anyways, so a woman is believed in that year. Have a wonderful day.